Hello my Sock Universe for another Corona update video, sort of something, yeah, let's see how it will go. Well, uh, I think the big news is, and that's why I'm wearing PSG, uh, the French League has been declared, finished by the Prime Minister of France. Uh, the league itself has not said uh, so yet, but given that the Prime Minister said there will be no uh, gatherings and no events uh, up until September 1st and he included decidedly the league, league um, we're done, Liga is done. Now of course the big question is um, given that PSG has such a lead in the league does this mean that uh, uh, PSG will be anointed champions? <sighs> I think it's not inconceivable I mean they with even a game less, uh, they have a 12 point lead. I think it's pretty much unsurmountable. But hey, let's see. Uh, and I guess we also, the other item that I have to say, let's look quickly at the table here. Um, it is relatively even. We have only PSG against Strasbourg. Let's say Strasbourg will not get into the European spots. Um, so I guess. That takes care of that. Uh, we will have uh, PSG, Marseille in the Champions League. We will have Rennes in the uh, playoff. I'm sure there will be many uh, people that will not be happy with that uh, because we saw the French league is tight and there's little uh, point behind the Rennes, which would be a, a, a Europa League and Reims and Nice uh, round out five and six, and that means Lyon might not get in there. That will be tight. That will be a tough call to have. Uh, I don't know anything what will be for relegation and so on. Uh, that needs to be decided and we'll uh, wait and see. Uh, before we go to um, the main topic of this, I also uh, read that UEFA had given a deadline. I think by the 25th of May they want to know from the leagues how things are going. Uh, because they want to plan the next season. I understand why I don't want to do it. I'm still not certain. Will we have a next season? That option is, I think, every, every, everyone thinks that life will continue like normal. I'm pretty certain until we do not have a vaccine, life will not continue as normal. Absolutely not. You have to be prepared for that. Um, I also think that, you know, with uh, what, what we just heard from France and so on, um, this clearly points when we start starting with, if we really have the Champions League now in August uh, behind closed doors and also uh, that it will have to be played on neutral ground, one leg ties. I don't see any other option to that, to be honest with you. So uh, I think that's where I stand. And then speaking of uh, games by closed doors, it happened today in Austria. It, I heard similar stuff in Germany. Germany. Of course, the organized fans, uh, the ultras, if you like, are not happy that you know there are uh, games behind closed doors with all these apps that I've talked. Which I actually find a good idea from a TV perspective, but of course. They live for being in the stadium and they think that soccer should be experienced as they are in the stadium and not um, on TV. Um, I sympathize with their point of view, but the reality is soccer is soccer, football, however you want to call it. Soccer is, the, is, is a proper term for the game. I think I made a video on that. Uh, is already a TV product. Yes, it is nice to have spectators there, but the income that the big teams make from um, match day revenue and from TV revenue, I mean, there's no comparison, it's all TV. So it is already a TV pro product. Maybe less so. Um, I would say that Austria is one of those leagues where for the lower teams, it's not as much. Um, it's much more match day re revenue dependent uh, than TV. But if you play in the first, first league, your mo main income comes from match day, uh, comes from TV money. So it is already a TV pro product. So, well, you might want to go back to the good old days. Um, it's not going to happen. 
So, and I'm at a point where actually I would, l would I like to see it? <laughs> I mean, everyone's in, in assuring us that whatever test they take, this is not stuff that is taken away from people in need. If that really was the case, then I'm, I am actually okay if they would be playing because they also want to do their job. Like everyone else wants to do their job, uh, their job is something very popular. So I and I in in in, in a way I, I would like to see things continue, not necessarily in Austria though. Well, I have alt ulterior mod motives there, but now given that it continues, and that we get it possible, and we probably will have many tight um, schedules. FIFA is actually considering until the end of 2021 to making a rule change by allowing up to five substitutions in regulation. And even have it in such a way that you can change at halftime and then there are two slots within the game, probably within the second half, where you can make uh, substitutions. Um, it is for the health of the players. I totally understand that. So uh, give them a little bit. Uh, give uh, players um, more time to rest and don't have them play too long. I'm not sure how if how hard how this will affect the big players. To to be honest, let's say a Messi, if they're fit, they will want to play 90 minutes, and you know taking Messi off uh, that that makes a huge huge difference. Um, I'm more afraid if this is really going through, this is here to stay. Uh, we will see that with five substitutions, I mean, that's almost half the team, you can play much faster paced. Uh, squads can be eventually enlarged and therefore uh, we will get an even more attractive product because if you have um, two players that are kind of similar or even for attack, attack, tackle change, um, this will change the game. This could and I want to caution you i am not saying it's good or bad uh but this is a potential game changer this could be up there with the um back pass rule that was instituted um 92 uh potentially bosman ruling of the dad was more squats um, the, the, uh, the, um putting uh squats two together this, I think, is a game. This is a potential game game changer. They they can say what, what they want is until the end of 21 or something like that. Uh, if that gives us an attractive product, this is here to stay. I'm pretty certain. So uh, I want to be open to it. I think there will be people that will not be happy with that. But I, you know... Change is possible, and we have reached a point where, uh, of saturation, a point where players are already really, really playing too many games, and that might be a way to kind of limit that. Um, but it's not a game. I, what I would wish in many ways is that we have less soccer available. Just tone it down by twenty five percent. What then we would see much more really good games uh, I see myself now you know uh, up, up and now I watched every weekend six games and you know I love doing that but I also see now that um, I'm missing time and for me it's really hard to say no I'm not gonna watch especially if then there's not immediately a program in place or I really need, need to rest or something I really wanna watch that stuff but I think it would be better if there's, you know, then a whole week of Champions League weeks uh, where I stay up longer than I should. And then, yeah, it the, it is overkill. I, I'm, and, and, you know, I'm watching so, 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 so much that I'm not even sometimes remembering all, all the games uh, again. So I think it would be good if we would have less games on TV. But with that ruling, uh, it is more likely that... We will have increased squads, which will mean that more players will be bought by the big teams. So that gap will increase too, so that might be ne ne negative. I think the product, uh, the quality of the game might actually be heightened, which is a good thing. Uh, there will be a transition period, but in the end, I think the level of play will remain high. 
throughout which potentially could also lead to less goals so maybe that's not as attractive but I personally feel that allowing five sub substitutions uh, will, be, will be a game changer it will allow teams to play more games in a shorter period of time and therefore it will be something that will definitely be considered to here to stay my personal opinion let me know what you think about this rule change uh, or any of the other things that I've been talking. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.